All right, here is the setup video for the setup that we've got for sale. This is a Celestron Advanced CG5 mount with the Celestron ADED telescope. So I'm gonna walk through setting this up just so you can see what everything is, see how it goes together. We'll put this thing in use. Celestron bag holds the tripod mounts. The zipper's a little bit messed up. You may want to replace this with a different bag, but it's what I've been using. I've got this in here. Here is the tripod legs. Depending on if you're new to astronomy or not, you always want to put this facing north. We're going to set this up and uh, align it to the north celestial pole. demonstration purposes we will just do something simple like this all right in the bag I also store the little the thing to hold the hand controller and the little eyepiece holder thingy for the mount. So this will hold your eyepieces, plus this helps brace the legs when you set it up. You don't want to fully tighten this right away because we're going to put our mount on top of these tripod legs here. And this kind of screws into the bottom of it to secure everything. So I'm going to pull everything out of this box. This is the original box that came in, so it's hanging up. Here's a little counterweight bar. Here is the advanced CG5 mount. We're going to put it on in the appropriate manner. Right here. Fits onto this. We will adjust that stuff later. This screw kind of goes up into there. You tighten it. Doesn't need to be super tight right now, but get it all the way up in there, get it snug. So it doesn't fall off. Like that. And then you'll see that these, this thing will here will line up with these legs, kind of lift that up, and then you screw the bottom piece on. We might tighten that a little bit later as we go. So it's actually spreading out the tripod leg. It's kind of leveling itself as we tighten that up. There is a leveling mount bubble right here. So we'll want to use our legs to level, make sure that the tripod is accurately leveled before we get started with anything. So you'll adjust your three legs using this bubble. Make sure you got that thing dialed in. On here, we've also got the hand controller. And I mentioned before, the little holder that holds the hand controller clips onto the leg. So you can hold your hand controller in there. This connects into the mount where it says hand controller. Here is the power cord. Power cord has the cigarette letter, lighter adapter and on one end and the power cord adapter on the other. So you plug it into the power, drop it down and you'll have your battery pack. I've got one that we'll use as an example to plug that into. Also have in here the Polar scope cover and the little thing for the uh, counterweight balance and the counterweight bar. So this you'll assemble with the counterweight once we get the load on the mount. We'll uh, so this kind of goes on backwards so that it creates some back pressure to tighten it. A little screw down here. You'll put your weight on this part of it. This screws in right over here. So you can get that again real snug right now. 
and then you screw that base part back up onto it just to kind of tighten it up. That's nice and secure. And we're looking pretty good. This is basically how the mat goes to, the mount goes together. Next, we're going to attach the telescope. Here is the Celestron ADED. ED stands for extra low dispersion. Cuts out some of that color anomalies that happen. Uh, makes it a little bit sharper. This is sort of uh, the uh, what the Celestron ADED, what the refractors started with. Things have advanced, but this is a 600 millimeter focal length at f 7.5 fully multi-coated optics and we're going to just uh, mount this on here so it's got a molded frame I'll do some details of this here in a minute Celestron has this like clamshell clip that has this molded vixen style dovetail built right in and so it'll go right into this screw it down to tighten it. Always be safe here. Make sure that this has got a good handle on your thing before you let go. You don't want this thing slipping off here, dropping down to the ground. But that's on. We're all set. Telescope is mounted. Now that we've got our telescope on there, we can add our counterweight and try to get this thing balance a little bit for the gears so we don't need to worry too much about the balance right now we're doing our setup but we still whenever we got our load on the top we want to balance counterbalance with our weights put our load on the bottom kind of help out the system a little bit what do we mean when we talk about counterbalance and weight etc this weight is gonna help balance this weight to make things easier on the gears and the mount. So let's balance it, what we refer to. And we refer to this in two uh, declinations. So or our right ascension and declination, what we're gonna do is unlock this gear, which allows this to spin. You'll notice that the weight is heavier than the telescope. So we're gonna adjust this get it up here and get it closer to being what we would refer to as balanced. So as you balance this, for photography this becomes very very important. For the health of your gears and things it's also helpful. This is getting to about where we need it for this. So. We're going to leave it all the way up. The uh, locker gear. There are these little marking points here that show you kind of where center alignment is. That's where I'm putting that. And now with this, what we're going to do is kind of balance it this way. And with this one, what we would be doing is balancing the scope forward and backward. If it was too far forward, it would kind of lean you know this way if it was too far backward it would lean this way you would kind of move it in the bracket so this is pretty much set up to go on this mount that's kind of dialed in right where it needs to be okay so we're all set up here with this mount we also have another cord that will actually attach the bottom of the mount to this top part of the mount, the declination uh, mount. So there's two sides to this thing. One's gonna go here into the declination port. The other one's gonna come down here and to go into uh, the declination port. And now we're all set. Basically pointed north, basically balanced. And we're ready to put power on here and turn it on. At night, 
you'll do your balance again once you have all your gear on here if you're doing photos you'll attach your camera you'll have your weight more adjusted so you'll balance it according to the weight of your camera whatever else you have on here if you're just doing visuals you still might pull this off but your eyepiece on here you'll extend this out to focus get it where you want it then you might balance it just so that it all works a little bit nicer uh, we'll work on doing polar alignment there's a polar scope under here in the cap the polar scope is what's going to help us do our alignment which will allow for longer photo exposures the better our polar alignment is the better our tracking will be for photos so we can set up and go through all that but this was just wanted to cover basic setup of everything that's included the mount the hand controller the telescope the weight the power cord everything that you need I'm even including three eyepieces with this so right away you can take it home tonight and look at the planets which look pretty cool uh, that'll be the first thing that you can do with it if you want to advance beyond this or your skills you've been doing this a while you can get into the photo stuff you can fully attach camera back here polar aligning you start doing some tracking and some mounts uh, I'm also going to include a guide scope and a guide camera which is an older setup that I used to use which works perfect for this and I've got photos to show you guys what I've done with this setup uh, so all that stuff will be here and be included but we didn't talk about finder scope but here's finder scope so everything is set ready to go for doing some astronomy <laughs>